So some of you RVers who rely on an RV water heater, you find out it's not working, especially when you get ready to take a shower and it's no hot water. Then you look at your pump indicator or your hot water indicator and it's got a, a light on. Turn it off, turn it back on, won't ignite. And then you go and you look at the plug and the plug is leaking. And you go to tighten the plug. And this is what's left of the plug. Where's the other half? On this video, we're gonna fix this plug and hopefully that was the issue. When I looked at it, water was actually squirting out towards the igniter. So I think that's what the problem was. So stay tuned. Let's fix a water heater. So thanks for tuning in. So this is my hot water heater. Hot water heater. Why do it's it's either a water heater or it's hot water, right? It's a water heater. So anyhow, it's not a cold water. Heater. I guess really it is a cold water heater because it takes cold water and it turns it into heat. Never mind. So it's a water RV water heater. This is the drain plug. Was. The other half is still in there. What happened was it wasn't coming on, but I think because it was literally spraying out here and in this direction, it actually may have been putting out the uh, igniter there. So, either way, it was leaking, so it's got to get repaired. But when it breaks off, what do you do? I don't know. I went to the store and I got a replacement. This one is a little different than this one. This is more of a PVC material. This is more just plastic. It's soft. It's softer. So, I'll put this in. We'll see what happens. From what I understand, there's two reasons why you want to use plastic. One, the plastic does give a little, even though you put tape on it. It does give a little, so therefore it bites into the threads a little better and makes a better seal. But I was also told that the metal with all the water that's involved will actually corrode and end up really corroding itself in there to where it's like a weld and you'll never get it out. This you'll still get out. So we have to get that out <laughs> because obviously it's stuck. So how do I get it out? So here's the packaging the one I bought comes with two of them there's the other one so I purchased this it's a spray head pull-up tool and it's actually like a reverse plier I don't know how well you can see that but you see how the the point actually goes out so the object is when you go to, to squeeze it, it opens up and maybe grips into the inside of this thing. Then I also picked up one of these. And that there goes in there and then this here kind of bites into it as you try to unscrew it and it bites into it a little bit and you see it's tapered so the idea is it will bite into it this is the half inch that's the three quarter inch version see half three quarter and that hole is half inch so you'll go in here somehow and bite into it so I'm thinking between these two I'm hoping something works I'll probably try this one first and go from there. Then I'll use some of this to put it on. 
So let's uh, let's see how it works. A quick note: I noticed when I was putting this on that is reverse threads, which kind of makes sense because you want it to go reverse. So the threads here are reverse, meaning you won't actually unscrew it. So let me show you here. This here would be normally clockwise, like you're putting a screw in and it actually comes out. This is normally counterclockwise, like you're taking a screw out and you see how it's going in, which is kind of what you want because then as you try to back out that plug that's in there, you want this to tighten and not loosen. So it's good as reverse threads. I don't know if you can tell. But the way, let's see if we can, the way that these guys are done, they're grooved in a way, see how that groove is? They're grooved in a way that when you go to back out that screw, it will bite into it. You can feel it when you just hold it, and you can feel how it's going to bite into it. Well, let's hope that this thing works. Now in my situation, because my RV is actually part of my home and I got a building right here, this thing here can't go down all the way. So I was running into an issue where the handle was actually hitting this. And I want to I wanna be able to close this back up. So my solution is a socket. So basically I just took that guy there off of this end just like it originally was and then I got a socket and I'm using a half inch half inch socket and just getting up in there and Now, one thing I've learned already is that you gotta make sure that it bites into the plastic really good or else it just scrapes the plastic. So, I need to apply enough pressure in there that it keeps that bite on it. So, and I can't do all this with one hand. So, let me kind of continue to get it out. You can see it's partially out already. But, let me... Uh, continue to work on it and there you have it it's now out and I can install the new one so this extracting tool works so this is the old this is the new there's the rest of the old this is what I used to get it out along with this wrench. You don't really need this in a regular RV situation, but in mine, just because my setup, it worked out good. The key to this thing is, you gotta make sure that you apply pressure in there to keep that bite on, so it bites into this plastic. Do you hear that? We got fire. So, this was not igniting because I had a water leak. So it was spraying out here and affecting this. Got wet or something, putting it out, whatever. Fix this water leak and now this works. You can see the blue flame. Yeah, you got hot water, I can do showers now. getting late. You can tell I'm working by late. By this wonderful Harbor, not Harbor Freight, Ryobi flashlight. I love this thing. It's got like three.
three deals. Runs on the uh, regular battery stuff. It's pretty bright. Well, this is kind of spooky with this lighting, huh? Alright, so it's getting dark out, obviously. So, anyhow. So, if you got a RV water heater, it's not lighting. It may not be igniter. It may not be the electronics. It may be the drain plug. This drain plug leaked. It was actually squirting out. And somehow affecting the igniter. I went to uh, tighten it. And it just popped right off the, the head of it. You guys saw that earlier in the video. But now it was stuck. That extractor tool, nice and easy, apply some pressure to bite into it, and I was able to pull it right out. Fixed. I like it. Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead. You guys gotta stay tuned. Some of you new folks that are just tuning in for this gotta figure out why I have this building here, huh? It's my home. Talk to you later. See you, bye, have fun.